Right, hi guys. In uh, this video, we're just going to look at how we can very, very quickly use little spec activity within lessons just to get that little bit of, uh, of English and that little bit of grammar practice into science lessons. But just to uh, just to go over what SPAG is to start off with. SPAG is an abbreviation for spelling, punctuation and grammar. Right. So children and students have always been taught how to use it. They just sometimes forget that they need to use it in every lesson, not just in English lessons. So here's a nice little activity that you can go and put together to really get them thinking about that spelling, punctuation, grammar that they need to use. So one thing that I use is you go and you take a chunk of key information, right? Don't try and type in all of the spelling, punctuation, and grammar mistakes as you're going along because that will that will drive you mad. So take a key piece of information. After you have that information, you can go and add in any number of spelling mistakes, punctuation mistakes, grammar mistakes, and such forth. Right. Once you've done that, and it takes about 10 minutes to set up. Ask students to go and read through it carefully and identify, so highlight or underline or circle any errors. After they've been given three or four minutes to do that or however long that you think they need, you can go and read it out loud to the class. Right? This helps get them on side. It's quite fun to do, trying to read out all the grammar mistakes and such forth. What I get them to do is go and clap every time that they spot a mistake. That way you get some instant feedback on whether they're spotting them or not. So this really helps you to identify where they are making spelling, punctuation, grammar mistakes. That then goes on to helping them when they go in and they're double checking and they're reading through their own work and such forth. And it, if you do this often enough, it helps them pick up some key things that they need to be looking out for. Right, so hopefully that will uh, that will help you a little bit. If you've got any questions or comments, drop them below and I will try and get back to you. Right, thanks.